It's food. It's food. Pour it out. It's food. It's food. It's food. Pour it out. What's some advice that you want to give, um, I guess, parents who probably have, well, not probably, parents who have homosexual children or a child, and especially from a Christian-based household, like, is there anything that you want to tell them, anything that you probably would have done different with me? Done differently? Mm-hmm. Or just any advice you want, to, you want to give them, like, regarding um, them trying to understand the child or continue to raise them, you know, as a, as a parent, but having to get that news that, you know, hey, mom, um, you know, I'm gay, I'm bi, whatever. I think I resisted a lot. Um, my resistance, once again, I think came from trying to maintain an image and then also not believing that that was God's best for you. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that manifested because there have been situations where she's been fired off of a job because people didn't like the way she carried herself or the way she swagged or, um, you know, just the look overall yep. um, and I've, I've even been in conversations with other family members who you know make comments derogatory comments and condescending comments that are real insensitive about homosexuality not realizing that you have one within your own who's struggling with it yeah. and for her I call it a struggle because that's how I saw it as a struggle not so or for you I call it a struggle because mm -hmm. like I said she said it was natural but I felt like it was a cry for help in some way. I just felt like she was um, hiding hurt, and that was her way of doing it. I mean, you know, homosexuality, the spirit manifests from like rejection and stuff like that. But I mean, so were you hiding hurt? No, that's that's actually how I feel. I want her to know. I mean, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, you're dealing with hurt. You're dealing with lust. You're dealing with all those things. Like if you um, think about principalities, um, if if one kingdom come in and take a, take hold, it opens the door for other spirits to come through. And I guess homosexuality was just one that came through that door. I mean, being a young kid and looking at movies like American Pie, you know, and stuff like that, that's definitely lust right there. And then rejection, abandonment. Those are some things, but I wasn't purposely trying to deal with homosexuality. I actually was trying to push it out. Like, I would try to force myself to have boyfriends and stuff. And I was just like, this is whack. I don't like this. But why were you trying to force yourself to have any relationship at it, all at that age? It wasn't, not at five, but I'm just saying maybe like fifth grade, seventh grade. Even at that age. Not, uh, not, you know how little kids just be having like little, little sandbox relationships. Like you don't, you don't do anything. You just be like, that's my boyfriend. But um, I, I just found myself just. It was like I was forcing myself to be unhappy. The more that I would, I would do that. And and then um, when I got in ninth grade, I said, man, you know what? I, this is me. Like, I, I'm not gonna keep fighting like my, not my feelings that I feel because they're valid. Feelings. Feelings. Feelings will deceive you. They will. Feelings change. They will. Emotions are erratic. But but you still have to be um, conscious of the person who's dealing with homosexuality. Because just like somebody who's a thief or a murderer, um, I'm pretty sure that they... Some, I mean, some people do make the choice, but then you have some people who just can't stop doing it. True. Yeah, so it's the same thing. But, um, well, my advice to, uh, I guess, to um, a family dealing with that, especially, like, in a Christian home, um, try to be understanding. Like, be transparent um, with each other. You know, um, try to see how the child feels. Give them room to be open with you and vulnerable. And don't, you know, shoot them down or, or dismiss what they're saying because everything that they're saying is valid and they, they need the parent there to help them, you know, move along in this journey. So just... Just kind of be there for them. I also recommend counseling, <laughs> most definitely. Um, if you can get the entire family, like the siblings and everything involved, that, I think that would be good too. Um, just to be have more understanding. Um, and definitely, you know, show love. Like you, you're not going to, to be honest with you, 
the more that you try to I guess control that child or, or, or dismiss them that's the more you're going to push them towards that lifestyle I'm not saying that you you uh, being there is going to change them and make them want to not be gay or not be bi or not be transgender but it's going to allow them to be more open and include you in a journey and definitely be praying and be patient behind the scenes I mean I don't know if that's what you did with me well our relationship when I when you were younger really wasn't open and transparent or loving as a whole mm -hmm. so quite naturally it wouldn't have been opening transparent or nurturing in this situation so um but that's a different story but um yeah counseling and as far as bringing the other siblings and siblings in i think that's critical because i i have actually i don't know if you have you ever had any issues with your other siblings when you were younger so justin jordan like uh regarding homosexuality um i remember one time um uh, they, they said Jordan disowned me like he was like that's not my sister I'm like dang man that John hurt like so yeah yeah I heard that too where he was on the bus he was calling her names along with the other kids cause I guess just like I said um I guess it hurt him too uh you know um when there's lack of understanding then you know, he didn't know how to handle it, so he just handled it the best way he could. He, he, he denied it or resisted it. So, yeah, I could see how that could be hurtful. Yeah. But I don't think we really addressed it as a whole. And now, I mean, we have a history of homosexuality in our family. <laughs> so that's But it's, it's still covert. They might, might make comments or derogatory remarks about the person, treat them differently. Um, I guess make them feel unwanted, unwanted yeah. unwelcome, yeah. and feel like um, there's something wrong with them. Yeah. And and um, j just like I guess you deal with anybody with um, just like an addiction, uh, dealing anybody dealing with any type of issue. Um, you just have to give them room to just to come to you, you know, be there. And I, it's just all about spreading love, to be honest with you, you know. Yeah, so, I uh, think it's just not uh, the homosexual issue. I think thinking back for our family, it's probably just we have, I guess, a judgmental mentality. Yeah. As a whole. I agree. I think another place. thing I wanted to add is that I don't think I really had support. Mm -hmm. um, the people I surrounded myself with pretty much had the same thought pattern that I had. Mm -hmm. And family, like I said, their thought pattern was pretty much the same as mine because I basically inherited theirs. So I don't really feel like I had the support to deal with the unknown um, in a way where I could be empathetic um, and so yeah we went toe to toe <laughs> quite frequently but well, anyways y'all heard the key things um, definitely counseling uh, try to be transparent with one another if you're in a household who who's normally not transparent with with each other now is a crucial time like no other to try to start becoming transparent um, definitely uh, you know, follow the truth from the word, but operate in love as well, you know, um, and just be there for one another. I do have one more thing. You good. I feel like I'm talking to the camera. You good. <laughs> I remember one time I, when Jasmine finally left home, uh, I felt like, okay, that was my only opportunity to kind of reach her or the only opportunity for God to reach her. And then the hardest part for me was just releasing her to the Lord, letting, making me realize that, okay, she's not yours. He, she belongs to him. Release her to him. And I remember one time I even asked him, and I don't know if this came to pass, but I asked him to just scare her, kind of like scare her straight. <laughs> not to kill scare, her. Scare straight. 
but to just do something to kind of wake up, wake her up, because there were other issues. The only the, the identity, sexual identity, wasn't the only issue. There were anger, anger. issues, but um, I think I still had kind of like I was still trying to play God or direct her when he should have been the one directing her. So I, it was the hardest part for me was just to move out of the way and let him do what he needed to do to get to her. Anyway, I hope you guys learned something, you know, from me and my mom. But uh, you want to pray us out? Sure. <laughs> Did you want to hold hands? <laughs> yeah, unity. All right, come on. Heavenly Father, we just thank you right now for your word. Lord, we just thank you for life, health, and strength. God, we just thank you for watching over us, for protecting us, for keeping us, for continuing to guide and guard us, for just being the light that we need, Lord God. We just ask that you continue to um, shine your light on us, Lord God. Uh, Lord, give us the direction that we need to walk this journey. We just thank you. We just praise you in Jesus' name and all your many blessings we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I'm going to see you all next week.